Okay, let's take a look at this question about the average yield of apples on an apple farm. Um, this is a question, it's on practice test three, that's for the summer of 2014. It could be on practice test two for you, it could be a homework question for you. Depending on when you take the course, this could come up uh, at different times. But either way, it is a optimization question. This uh, is asking us to find the maximum, well, to figure out the situation that will give us the maximum number of apples in this scenario. And word problems are scary, but this one isn't so bad, and actually working it is not, is not so hard. So they're asking us, well, they're telling us that an apple farm yields an average of 34 bushels per apple tree when 20 trees are planted on an acre of ground. Each time one more tree is planted per acre, the yield decreases by one bushel per tree as a result of crowding. How many trees should be planted on an acre in order to get the highest yield? Okay, well we just need to break this down into what's going on. We need a function that we can work with. So they're telling us that we get an average of 34 bushels per tree. And that's when there are 20 trees planted. That's kind of our starting place. But every time we add a tree, we lose one bushel per tree. So let's say that we'll call x is going to be the number of new trees. Okay, so if I do 34 minus x here, that tells me that I start out with 34 bushels per tree, but every time I add a new tree, I lose a bushel. So if I plant one tree, if x equals 1, I'm only going to get 33 bushels per tree. If I get 5, I'm only going to get 29 bushels per tree. So this is the first part of your, your function. And then in order to figure out what our actual yield is, um, this is how many average bushels per tree, but we need to know how many trees we have. Well, we're starting with 20, and then basically adding one at a time. We're adding a certain number of trees. So we get 34 bushels minus the number of new trees times 20 plus the number of two tr new trees. And that is our f of x. All right, so in order to maximize, to find the information that we're looking for, we need to take a derivative and set it equal to zero. So f of x equals 34 minus x times 20 plus x. And if you FOIL that out, what you're going to get is negative x squared plus 14x plus 680. Okay, and that's just first, first, outer, inner, last. FOIL it out whatever your numbers are, you're going to get this uh, quadratic polynomial. And now we have to take the derivative. So it's going to be negative 2x plus 14. So since we need to maximize, we need to find the critical points. So find critical points. That means we need to set this equal to 0. So negative 2x plus 14 equals 0. Well, that tells me that 2x equals 14, so x equals 7. Um, in the past, every time we were looking for a minimum or maximum, you have to test the values. Okay, we just did everything by the book here, and we came up with a single answer, and it's an answer that makes sense. Adding a certain number of trees is going to maximize it. If it was a negative number, that wouldn't make sense. We're not going to take away trees because that's not what the question's asking us about. So we've got a positive answer here. That's exactly what we're looking for. Do not waste your time testing. Don't go on to a second derivative. Don't do a number line. Don't do anything. X equals 7. But 7 is not your answer. So look out. I'll put some exclamation points here. Don't stop here. Our answer is actually the number of trees we started with. That's 20, and you'll have to go back into your question. It might be a different number. So 20, that's trees, um, trees we started with, plus the number of new trees we planted. So the actual answer here is 27. So this is new trees. Okay, so this is not, not a difficult question. 
um, you're going to do average bushel minus x, and then the number of trees plus x. That's your f of x. Foil it out, take the derivative. Set the derivative equal to zero. You're going to come up with one answer. Don't waste time testing it. It is the correct thing that you need to get the actual answer to the question. But don't forget that you started with a certain number of trees, so whatever you get for x, you need to add that to what you started with to give you your final answer. And in this case, that happens to be 27. So this is, if you're ready to do it, if you've done this question a couple of times, and I strongly recommend you do this question a couple of times, um, this is a, a two-minute question to answer. The hardest, hardest part about it is going to be foiling out what you came up with for your f of x, and that's not that difficult at all. So um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, uh, but hopefully that'll get you set on this particular word problem that might show up on test three or the final exam or in your homework or all sorts of places when you're taking business calculus.